Okay, let's look at destiny. What is destiny? Destiny is an interim organization, facilitation group with particular objectives and principles. Once these objectives and principles have been achieved, destiny will be no more existing. It is not something that is there as a eternal religion or it's simply a point where people with similar objectives that means that do care about the equality of all life and with principles that is living principles for all life come together to work together for solutions and and either share the principles and objectives in which you then participate and uh, accordingly participate or you don't and you fuck off and that doesn't mean we won't disregard you in the bigger picture but we will disregard you in the smaller picture so it's just to give some clarity we have lots of bullshitters that waste our time unnecessarily we're really not interested we are actually investigated every single thing directly to the T, to the actual point of how it is created in fact. And we do not say anything unless we have actually checked it out, tested it in the physical as real and as how it works. Um, so, that is the basic point of destiny and the destiny farm is particularly a facility where we test all the grand ideas about living close to the earth and living without money and living with your own food and building your own houses here we show that those kind of things are pipe dreams and bullshit and is only available to a very select few of the elite of this world because you have money. If you didn't have money, you wouldn't have been able to live as the elite. And it is purely done by you to isolate you from the problems in the real world. It's a form of isolation. The real problems in this world requires hands-on understanding and a practical approach to find out exactly what will work and what won't work. In this, we have established that due to the vastness and the size of the humanitarian problem and the lack of education in general and the fact that we are in space-time, money will facilitate, an equal money system and an equal labor system will facilitate the process best in terms of assisting everyone to achieve basic equality in things like education, in things like uh, dignified living, in things like enough food, in things like having a roof over your head, and all the basic things that is a human right by the fact that you're born. So human rights are what is obvious common sense based on the fact that you are born and living in this world. That's human rights. The human rights that's currently so-called professed are all subject to political agendas. They are not subject to the real issues at hand, which is what is involved in living in this world as a being that requires certain specific support to actually live and survive this world for the allotted time that you are here. Fortunately, death is the purifier and we will either see you on the other side to death or we won't we are not particularly concerned which one happens if you transcend in the physical that means you actually become equal to what is here and is proving your the point that you actually value life and thus support it equally and that you do not abuse in the name of your own self-interest and your own uh, greed and obsessions and delusions, you will transcend death. It's very simple shit. If you don't, 
you just get deleted because, I mean, what remains is your substance, but that you won't even know about because you don't even know about it now. Uh, so, in fact, you won't exist. In the structural resonance alignment, we will explain what substance is and how it operates and how you communicate with substance so you can amalgamate with what is real and really here and actually creating reality.